Hello everybody, this is Shane Armonroe with NVIDIA Shield Zone. We're going to be looking at Lineage OS, a custom ROM running on the NVIDIA Shield Android TV. I typically don't look at these custom OS's, but this one seems pretty far along, and uh, I thought I'd take you on a quick tour. Now this is uh, already configured. Um, the installation, of course, is kind of wonky as uh, custom ROMs tend to go but um, yeah so once the installs done and you do all the weird stuff you're gonna need a mouse you're gonna need a keyboard you're gonna need a lot of stuff to get it set up but once you do uh, this is essentially what you're looking at now I currently have this paired with the um, the new shield Android TV controller um, it will not pair with the original ones. Now this is running the Shield Android TV 2015 model, aka Foster. So uh, I would not expect this to be uh, functional with the uh, 2017 or the Darcy edition. And I'm just trying to see if I can get this uh, controller to pair back up. There we go. All right, so um. As you can see, the resolution's considerably higher. I don't know if you can mess with that. I'm sure you can. Um, but as you can see, things are a lot smaller. There's a lot more screen resolution being used. Um, now, note this custom ROM is still Android TV. So if you're looking to get away from Android TV so you can have, quote, quote, the real uh, Android store or the real Google Play store, this will get you no further. Um, this is still still all about Android TV so what's the benefit I guess uh, it's a little more open source they can add stuff to it um, they're not locked into shield technology but of course the problem here is as well that um, you're not going to be able to use a lot of the shield stuff such as uh, uh, the shield game hub the game streaming all that other good stuff so let's see if I can find just so you guys can see how this works out um, let me see if this is a... Yeah, so anyway, so this is a video comparison, but as you can see, uh, YouTube works just fine. I also installed Plex, so you can see what that's like. Have it on my uh, HTPC, just capturing shows from my wife, like Judge Judy and People's Court, some game, old game shows. And of course, Cody, everyone likes to see Cody working. All right, so I've got some shows on here. So you can see Cody works all right. Uh, use a certain button. All right. Um, let's see here. Haystack TV. I don't know if I ran this one or not yet. Sure. Just go ahead and log in. I thought I said that was cool. There we go. So as you can see, sometimes the UI in the higher resolution works. Sometimes it does not. Uh, sure. Get my site's location. Let's see, do I have... Uh, there should be some video game stuff in here somewhere. I always think I'm in surprise for some reason. That's so bizarre. Here's The Verge. Uh, video games. Here we go. Could not update location. Let's give it all to me. Let's see what we got here. Hey, you can see that's working that all right. Over time. Here are some tips to get you. I don't even know what this is. Too small. G'day right. guys, I'm Champ Chong, and welcome back to the show where I report on the latest in video game news. So as you can see, um, uh, it's pretty, pretty well put together here. Um, like I said, it's very, very small. I hope you have a big TV. You can see this is the new NVIDIA controller that I managed to pair. 
A uh, couple things that are immediately missing. Uh, obviously, if you're looking for actual Android and not Android TV, you're still out of luck. Um, this whole thing sort of, this is not my recording doing this. There's a sort of a darkness to this, right? It's got a dark sheen to it. Where if you've seen any of my other videos with Android TV, it's bright, the colors pop. This is very subdued. And I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. Uh, but I didn't see anything here in the uh, configuration that would give us a whole lot of messing around with that. It's all pretty straightforward and simple. Um, the other thing is there's no way to put this thing to sleep with the remote. At least I couldn't figure out how to do it. There's no options for putting it to sleep. Um, you can long press the button on the shield and you will get the standard uh, power off, restart, and all that good stuff. Uh, I had a lot of trouble connecting to Wi-Fi. I had to use, um, right now I'm on Ethernet, but I did have to use WPS. I could not just select my access point and type in the password. Didn't work. Uh, and if you do decide to do this, um, I went ahead and used SuperSU. The uh, tutorial will tell you that you should use the Lineage OS. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Always have a mouse. Oh, it's backwards too. Funky. So uh, not everything. This is, but this is, uh, this is any any uh, install. There we go. All right, so I've got SuperSU installed instead of Lineage. Um, you will also need Google Apps. Lineage does not come with Google Apps, so you're going to want the ARM64 uh, generic TV 7.1. Right, I could probably bring that up in a browser, but you can figure that one out. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to... Um, it's not too actually that hard to install. You'll just have to go into Twerp. Um, do a couple of wipes, uh, system data and cache, and then this of course will wipe out everything on your machine. So so be aware of that. Then install Lineage, um, G Apps, and SuperSU. Just put them all in a queue, launch them all. You'll um, log back in. I was unable to use the setup my device on Google. I had to do it manually. Um, so there's definitely some. Uh, behind the scenes stuff that's a little hokey. I had a couple of services stop working right away. But it's been remarkably stable. Um, and again, I'm not sure the benefit here, if you like Android TV and you have a Shield TV, you might as well have the Shield OS. Um, but again, you know, this is gonna give you a little bit more freedom. Obviously, you can already see that there's a distinctive change in the resolution and, and all that other good stuff. So there's definitely, um, uh, there's definitely some advantage uh, to it but again as you can see it is definitely locked down to standard android tv stuff definitely higher resolution lets you see more and uh, they did a really good job of keeping all the menus and everything appropriate you don't see anything bleed off the screen everything looks pretty tight so if you're looking for an alternative uh, custom rom and you want to stick with android tv but you want to get rid of all the sh cool stuff that makes Shield TV uh, a Shield TV, the NVIDIA stuff, this might be your solution. Uh, anyway, I thought you guys would like to take a quick look. Um, definitely not without its faults, but overall one of the more stable things that I've seen. Again, this is Lineage OS on Shield Android TV 2015. I hope you enjoyed it.